Hey guys, it's Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. We are in a video series of three videos for our Sharing Sunshine Mega stamp -a stack so, so if you missed video number one, it's linked below. We made this birthday card. The stamp -a stack makes six of that card. It's a mega stamp -a stack We're doing double cards in this one, replenishing our birthday cards. Video number two, today we're gonna make You Bring Warmth Into My Life on a beautiful thinking of you card. Our stamp -a stack makes six. And then there's still one more video in the series. Look out for video number three, where we'll make this thank you card. And our stamp -a stack makes six of this thank you card. We're gonna replenish thank you, birthday, think of you, bring some light and color into our lives and into our friends. All right, so this is our card for today. There are Sharing Sunshine Mega stamp -a stack packets available in the Kitchen Table Stamper store while supplies last. You can go to kitchentablestamper.com slash shop filter by class packets in the right hand menu and you'll see if we still have any of these mega class packets available. Now the mega class packet had to be packed in two bags. <laughs> it was just too big with 16 cards to fit in one. So we're gonna get our pool party card bases for this design. You'll see that your card bases are cut, scored for you. You get an envelope for every card in the class packets. We've also got our embellishments here in the packets. Get a third of a spool of the Bumblebee ribbon, a half a package of these uh, adhesive sequins included in the packet. We do your die cutting for you, so all your little hearts are in this bag in your embellishment pack. We'll also need our designer series paper. This is the pattern party host exclusive designer series paper. So you're gonna get 12 six by six sheets, one of every pattern. Now we've already used two. You're gonna pick your pattern for this card and we're gonna cut it according to the brand new Wonder Recipe 16. So I'm gonna try this one this time, I think. You can pick whatever you want. Around kitchen table stamper, we say crafty girls do what they want. So pick whatever pattern you like. I'm going to shake it up a little this time. All right, so let's start right away with our designer series paper. Let's cut it according to the Wonder Recipe. Oh, there's also half sheets of So Saffron. Grab one of those too from your kit. All right, so when we, we're going to cut this designer series paper according to Wonder Recipe number 16. We're going to use the one and a quarter by three inch strips and reserve the one by three. Kitchen table stamper email subscribers. You'll know what we're doing with those one by three strips. All right, let me get my paper trimmer in here and we'll cut. Now this is a directional pattern and I want my banners to go this way. So when I put this into my paper trimmer, I'm gonna start this way, okay? So when you've got directional paper, according to the Wonder Recipes, you need to just think about which way you want them before you start cutting. So I got three, by six, I can stack these up now. And then I'm just gonna take one and a quarter inch slices off until there's no paper left. And when I drop them into the grid here, they'll be all sorted and ready for my cards. All right, one and a quarter inch until there's no paper left. Reserve the one by three because we're not gonna use it today, but Get to kitchentablestamper.com and in the upper right hand corner, if you're not already an email subscriber, get subscribed because we are going to do a slider card exclusive for email subscribers with the one by three inch pieces that are left. All right, so let's bring in the grid here. And these are our parts for today's card. These are getting reserved. You'll notice, I hope the camera's picking it up, a very subtle sunshine all over the background of my pool party cards. Let's do that next, shall we? We're gonna use our Stamparatus so that every sunshine is level. I cannot stand downhill or uphill greetings. And even and especially, when they're used as a background stamp. So we're gonna take our pool party cards. When you're doing a stamp a stack, you're gonna do all the cards at one time. So I got four cards for this design. I'm gonna 
folds and burnish with the bone folds are on all four cards. And then I'm gonna stamp my background on all four cards. We're gonna use our Stamparatus and I've got the word sunshine on there and a piece of grid paper. And you'll see that I stamped sunshine where it's gonna land. So we can kind of see where we're placing our card. And I'm gonna also use the grid paper underneath and the top or side of the card along the grid paper to make sure that my card stays level. So we're gonna start with sunshine at the very top of the card here, making sure that our greeting is level by making sure that our card is level with the grid lines on the paper. So we're gonna stamp sunshine. We're gonna lift, slide the card up and over just a little bit. Make sure that the grid lines, it's still lining up with the grid lines. And then we're gonna stamp second generation sunshine. Then we're gonna move again. We're gonna stamp sunshine. This time it's gonna be over to the right and a lot lower. And then we'll lift, slide the card, make sure it's level using the right side fold and the top grid line and stamp a second generation sunshine. Now we're gonna stamp straight off the edge of the card and just get part of the word. When we stamp just part of the word, we don't wanna use the second generation because it'll be dark over here and light where it was on the cardstock. Then we're gonna slide again so that our sunshine word is gonna land kind of in the middle here a little bit lower. Then our greeting that's off the edge. Square everything up on your grid paper before you stamp, lift, slide the card. This time I'm gonna go down and to the right a little bit. Stamp the second generation sunshine. Now we're gonna go off the edge of the card here. We're gonna have not quite off the edge of the card, just to the very edge of the card here. On the side, using the grid paper to keep everything all level, stamp, slide your card, and then stamp a second generation sunshine right above or below. I'm gonna slide in again. And one more time, we'll repeat the process. So we're getting this great little background of first and second generation sunshine. And using the grid on our grid paper and our stamparatus, we get nice level sunshine words. It doesn't go uphill and downhill all over the card like crazy. And just a cute little build your own background. Let's do all of our cards and get them ready. Okay, they're all stamped with the background and look great. All right, so inside your packets, you're gonna find your punched clouds and your die cut cloud. These are punched for you using the brand new cloud punch. It'll be available in January. And then we stamped, or we die cut the skinny cloud using the give it a whirl dies. So there's three different cloud shapes, the hearts that we're using today, the banner in this, um, Stamp a stack. There's also great arrows and stars and scallops and circles and rectangles, plus the Viewmaster kind of um, interactive card. Really great die set. We die cut this one for you. Now we don't stamp or emboss for you. Stamping is not okay according to Stampin' Up! rules. And embossing would just be more of a job than we could handle. We send out hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of cards. So you'll have to do your own embossing. I'm gonna use the dots and check embossing folder and we're gonna emboss those punched clouds. So dots and checks is a standard embossing folder. You can see we've used this to prepare your class packets. So much yellow. We'll start with the Stamparatus and our number one platform. Number three, cutting plate. The next up is our standard folder. It's one of these skinny ones with the dots. And we're gonna put these clouds in so that they go facing each other. Now you're gonna have four cards 
each one is going to have two clouds and you can do at least four clouds at a time here and so there's our little dot pattern let's go ahead and give it a crank do all of your clouds at one time i did some of mine ahead of time it's the magic of television and it's going to add a delightful little dotty pattern to each of your punched clouds isn't that cute it's all in the details between that subtle background of sunshine and the little dotty clouds it's really beautiful at this point i think it's a good idea to go in and do some of our adhering we're going to layer some things onto the onto the card fronts here so let's start with our clouds and we're going to lay them out so one's kind of low one's a little bit higher and then we'll take two pieces of our designer series paper and add them a little um, kind of cattywampus there now oop, i did my clouds backwards i want the skinnier end to peek out rearrange those all right keep that in mind so you want the this kind of skinnier end of the cloud out to the left and to the right all right and let's go ahead and glue those down we'll do that for each of the four cards and get our bases ready then we'll do some stamping just like the other one i've got kind of the position and paper that i want i'll glue the back of them and treat them just like one piece and there they go on the card all right let's do all the four cards like that okay our designer shares paper and clouds are all adhered let's do some stamping i'm going to get my stampin pierce mat and some ink pads all right we have memento tuxedo black mango melody and blushing bride got some so saffron cardstock and we are going to use the sharing sunshine to make our suns we're gonna do this kind of um I don't know pinked edge look at the rays in it's like a pinking edge eater 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 Ming and the mango melody on so saffron and then we're gonna do the face just like we did in video number one gonna ink up with mango melody stamp off and then stamp the face And then the details of the face, that little eyes and mouth here. I'm gonna use tuxedo black. And the cheeks will be blushing bride. Little circle. One for each side. So cute! Now in your kit, you have the skinny little die cut cloud. We're gonna add our greeting. You bring warmth into my life. Do that with Memento Black right on the cloud. So cute. And do all, all four at one time. Get rid of the ink pads, grab some scissors. We'll cut out our bits for our sun. Okay, so I'm gonna cut out my bits here, just like we did in video number one with the little white sun or the sun stamped on the white paper we're going to leave a little border past the edge of our image and just cut this guy out you'll notice that my non-dominant hand just turns the paper my dominant hand opens and closes the scissors it's pretty easy and we'll cut each of those out and then our circles same way just kind of roll them around in the scissor and cut out the face two different parts now if you wanted to do less fussy cutting you could absolutely stamp your face directly inside the rays and that would give you one less part to fussy cut but I love the little dimensional look you get when you layer the face onto the rays with a stamp and dimensional so we've got our sun and our sentiments on the clouds. Let's get some dimensionals. I'm gonna put mini dimensionals behind the sentiment cloud. Got a bag of little cutout hearts. Let's get a small and a large heart for each card. We're gonna add some dimensionals to the back of those too. You can center the dimension on the little heart 
but on the big heart, you want to put the dimensional up high because it's going to go over the cloud that's already bumped. I bring my sample in here so you can see and liquid glue and dimensionals. First, we're going to add the sun with some liquid glue. You like a cute little angle. Then a cloud, pick and stick. And then a big heart right over warmth. And a little heart floating up from there. So cute. All right, let's adhere the rest of our suns, clouds, and hearts. All right, there's our uh, sun, heart, cloud. Now in your kit, you've got some Bumble Beakingham ribbon. You're going to want to tie a tiny little bow and you're gonna do all the bows for all your cards. If you're stamping a stack with me, do all the bows for all your cards at one time. Little bows, you'll need 10 for this stamp a stack, four for this design. So go ahead and tie them all up at one time. And then what I like to do with them after I've tied them all up, I like to put them on the glue dots like this, just them right on there. And then they're all ready for when you're ready to add them to the cards. So we've got our little bows. Goes at the end of the cloud there. Let's add one to each card. You've got bumblebee ribbon in your kit, a third of a spool, so over three yards of ribbon. You should have plenty and a little bit left to play. And there's our bows. And also in your kit, you have a half a package of these self-adhesive sequins. You have blue, orange, yellow, and pink. And on my originals, I did little blue sequins on the blue card. And I was thinking about following the sample exactly, but I kind of like the blue and yellow thing we've got going on here. So I might try yellow on this one and see how it looks. We changed up the designer series paper. Why not change up the sequins too? Oh, I think it looks cute. See, it pays to be brave sometimes. And each one, I've got two sequins on each one. Of course, you can use as many as you like. And there it is. There is design number two in our Sharing Sunshine Stampa Stack. So here with the rainbow paper, here with the little scallop banners. Isn't that cute? All right, you guys, if you've got any questions, you can email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com to shop Stampin' Up! 24-7. You can buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net and to see if there is a class packet available to follow along, you can check out kitchentablestamper.com slash shop. And don't forget to check out card number one if you missed. The link is below the video. And I will see you next time in video number three where we'll make our thank you card. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.